Hey everybody, welcome back here. We're here with a uh, a video review on the 8-Bit Doe Media Remote. Now this thing came out last month and I do have to say this is actually a pretty cool thing. Um, I'm a big fan of the original Xbox Media Remote right here. I bought this when I bought my Xbox and it works fantastic. This has actually lasted longer than my Xbox, which is kind of crazy. Uh, my original Xbox like shut off stop taking up diets which was a couple couple months ago and i was really sad about that because i i really like my xbox it's a great media player but it it it's these things are great uh this is not just a review on kind of just the 8-bit dough but also like hey people should you should probably buy a media remote for your playstation or xbox like you 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 should if you watch like netflix and a lot of stuff or just have one of those that an xbox that just sits in the corner or an older playstation buy one like they're 20 bucks. It's, it's a godsend. And, and you don't have to worry about, you know, having your remote charge because these things, you know, last forever. Now, the cool thing about the, the media remote for the Xbox and, and the 8-bit Doe media remote is that they also kind of glow in the dark, which was kind of cool. Well, they don't glow in the dark. It's like they have lights tied to them, which was like super cool. Another reason why I kind of bought uh, the media remote, but sadly, the Xbox Media Remote finally gave out, and it, it still has. It still works once in a while. It's a good backup, but some buttons don't work. Some of the apps uh, require more inputs from you know the face buttons A, B, and X, Y. So I was like, you know what? I heard that the 8-bit Doe makes great products, and that, that they're releasing a Media Remote. So I'm like, okay, I'm buying this. Twenty bucks on Amazon. I recommend this. Um, the other top one is PDP, which is another good brand to buy stuff. There are tons of media remotes. I do not recommend buying anything outside of PDP and 8-Bit Doe. Um, you know, Amazon is just hosed with, you know, knockoff Chinese stuff. So it's just like, you know, you're going to pay a little bit more for probably a premium product. Uh, but what I like about this, uh, controller is that it's, it's small. It's small and it does everything I needed to do with a, a, a media remote. Um, you know, it has the play and the pause. There is, uh, you know, options for channel and uh, volume right here. Depending on your setup, uh, I've had bad luck with the volume and all that stuff. It, it, your mileage may vary. I like throwing that out, but your mileage may vary. Um, but, you know, I'm using this on an Xbox One S and everything works pretty good except for like the volume works once in a while. But... It's pretty cool. Uh, they also still have the the one live uh, the the guide button, which is I find hilarious because the guide is not even on Xbox anymore. So it, it, it's when they said when they added when they kind of changed it on the uh, media remote, we're like, okay, we're just gonna make it so you can just bind it to anything, which is really cool. So it's just a configurable button right there in the middle that you could just hey, this is my Netflix button. This is my this is my Wait, hold on. Yeah, this is my Twitch button, which is I've been watching Twitch lately, and it and it's pretty cool. Um, and it's just like it boots it up real fast. You could have it as YouTube button. Um, you know, it, it's this is this is more of a review on just kind of media remotes in general than eight bit dough because like I feel like even if you get the PDP one, uh, you're still gonna have a good time. Um, so I I do recommend that you buy this thing. Like if if you watch if you have an old Xbox, you know. It's, it, I think the only problem I have with this, uh, you could compare it to like PlayStation ones or ones that require an adapter is that there is a IR blaster on top of this. So, you know, it has to look right at the Xbox, which is meh, kind of, kind of sucks, but, uh, you know, it, it's, it's kind of cool, you know, it's kind of cool that like I, hold on, let me adjust that, you know, I could just sit down on my couch and I don't have to get my controller, which is all over to the left. And, you know, I could just watch some YouTube or something, you know, it, it's just, it's kind of cool. Like it's super easy. You can, you know, turn off your Xbox real, you know, real easily. You know, we could, we could watch the new PewDiePie real easily. Or then like, you know what? I want to watch some, you know, Twitch. And I just press my Twitch button and I'm, I'm back here. Can I can watch, uh, to uh, check swap play, um, you know, the new Alan Wake, which is kind of cool. Like, it's it's easy, you know. Um, and then, of course, as, you know, new apps, you, you got your full face buttons here, too. Let's do that. There, there we go. You got your full face buttons. 
Right, right there. Come on, focus. There we go. And so you got tons of access to everything. The only thing you don't have is access to like, you know, a stick or something. It would be cool if you have a dedicated kind of on and off, but I do recommend that you buy one of these. Um, you know, not just for PlayStation, but for Xbox too. And, and, and I guess, do Nintendo Switch has one? There's probably somebody made a one. You shouldn't buy it because there is like no, there's like Netflix is not on there. A lot of uh, media apps are not on Netflix or uh, not uh, not on uh, the Nintendo Switch. But yeah, I recommend you buy this. Um, I don't actually recommend you buy the, the $30 one, which adds a lot more at that point. Just buy the PDP one and save you 10 bucks, which will have the same features. Unless you're a big fanboy of 8-bit dough because they they seem to make uh, good good quality um, um, kind of things. But the one weird thing that I just noticed about here too is that it, it seems like there's two pieces right here, which is really weird. I do like this like little thing right here, but this right here, it's it's just one solid piece. I don't understand why. It's it's so weird. Like it doesn't serve any any kind of uh like purpose or anything. Which is so weird. I was like trying to get it off, like pull it pull it like like I don't know, like try to like rip it off this way. I guess I didn't see that triangle right there. But it's just like, how the hell do you get this off? Uh, the instructions don't actually tell you how, uh, which is hilarious. But it, yeah, it's just, it's just weird. But yeah, buy this thing. It's on 8-bit though. Um, you know, I'll put a link in the description. Buy it off Amazon. The only problem I had was like one time it did shut off and it like literally stopped working, which is really weird. And then, um, yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.